Now we can take you on a tour of Vatican City that very few people ever get to see. Our cameras were escorted through the home of the Pope by the man who knows most of its secrets. He unlocked rooms and galleries opening up centuries of history. Before dawn in Rome. A crack of light and Gianni Crea invites us into the Vatican. In his office, with his boss watching on, more than 2,000 keys that open up another world. Gianni is what the Italians call the clavigero, the chief keykeeper. Every morning for 19 years, unlocking the Vatican's 300 rooms and centuries of history. In the eerie darkness, it's just him and the Catholic Church's priceless collection of treasures. I love my job. It is incredible. It is a daily private glimpse into the secrets hiding behind these doors. The 400-year-old golden gallery of maps, hidden parts of the ancient apostolic palace. Privato. Privato a private church, and behind these shutters, a peek into the Pope's private apartments. His most important job, ripping this envelope open, sealed inside every day, the key to one of the Vatican's most famous places, the Sistine Chapel, where Michelangelo painted his stunning ceiling fresco in 1512. Cameras are usually banned. In a few hours, thousands of tourists will come through here. So seeing the Sistine Chapel completely empty is truly a unique perspective. Not even the cardinals who've been gathering here since the 15th century to select a new pope will ever see this place quite like this. The biggest thrill is the conclave because you know it's the end of a stage of history and the beginning of the future for a new pope. Not just a front row seat, more an insider's view of history. This is a bustling city-state. More than 3,000 people work here, but just a few see the Vatican like this. Gianni admits he used to get scared of the dark. Not anymore. Never left anyone behind. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. In Vatican City, Hugh Whitfeld.